What is this? Because it needs to look like it gives it a lot of power. Back of pretzel. Hey guys, and welcome again. As you may see, we are underneath our racing machine with a flat underneath surface. And so, we will be going further with the visual modifications of this beauty. Uh, we will start, as you may see, we are already dealing with the exhaust, but we will start with fitting those white rings into this beautiful shape, shaped body. So we'll add some fender flares, where are they? Where are they? I don't know where are they even. But you will see that in a second and then we'll move to exhaust. We'll try to fit everything in this episode. So fingers crossed that we'll figure it out. But you will see that in a second. So enjoy. Come on, get out. Yes, they are perfectly, perfectly ugly. But will they fit? <laughs> they are made for this vehicle. Lovely. Plastic. No. No. This is metal. We will throw some sparks then. <laughs> sparks will be flying everywhere. I uh, turned the design studio. As I will show, I got the fender flares here. There will be somewhere here to fulfill the gap so they will be a lot lower. You cannot see that, but you have to use the imagination like, like, like I do, because, yeah, professional, years and years of um, experience, and yeah, something like that. And I already started the design, uh, how it should be connected together. So as you can see, this is, this looks rubbish, you can see the gap and uh, the, it's, you don't know what this, this thing is doing. It's like, like, there is no peace, there is a mess, there is a chaos. But I use my head, use my imagination and creativityness, and I created this. You see, like a cheap foos design, like slick, nice shape from the edge of this black plastic to the edge of this ugly black plastic. I I will actually show you the process of creation. Yes. Okay, beautiful, yes, and in a second uh, the whole fender will be made as beautiful as it is currently. And uh, yeah, green, green looks, looks ugly, but uh, yeah, in the end we will probably uh, do, it, do it nice with some uh, thing which will fulfill the gap, because as you can see there will be a huge gap, so yeah. Somebody will definitely do it properly and uh, better than me. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Tuning, tuning. It's a lot of options. level pro the twingo is back it's done as you may see we add this yellow wrap on our leds and the fog lights so we'll have like a really spec right now it's ready to shred some what dirt because it looks like a rally car right now and uh, but this in a second because we need to finish it first as you may also see the fender flares are slick they are so aerodynamic they want to cut the air and also the wheels I had very nice underneath them. So we like that. We'll see how it's gonna look like uh, when it's gonna be dropped, but the rims are still not in place. So we need to wait for that when we finish everything to see the general outcome. I actually already saw that and it looks quite good, but for your eyes, it will be available in a few seconds. We can see that the 
fender flares needs to be cut in here uh, because we are removed the bumper I put the second bumper on just to cut it and see how it's gonna look like with our lovely shaped 90 degrees um, pipes and straight pipes that's the only parts that I can find actually to make it quickly because I don't want to waste some time on this it needs to be done it needs to be done right now because I want to hear and see how it looks like and sound with its beautiful shaped back piece let's say correctly politically correctly I already shaped it into the elephant and no mm -mm. That's not the one, uh, it needs to be curved a little bit more to just make your mind explode because you don't know what is this because it needs to look like it gives it a lot of power a lot of power which this machine doesn't need because it's already so powerful and beast and monster ah, I cannot wait, I cannot wait to shape this and we'll see in a second, fingers crossed that I will make it because it's not obvious too <laughs> since I'm a well-known uh, exhaust engineering engineer and uh, yeah, it should be easy <laughs> okay so currently I'm in progress of spec 2 of the exhaust uh, spec pretzel spec pretzel looking something like that and the final pipe we are going to here sorry for the audio but I'm holding the camera in my mouth so I don't know if you can see if you can see this let me see this, please. Thank you. <laughs> Proper screamer. Yeah. That was what is this for? Beautiful. Now we just need to put the bumper back. Check if we can fit all those mess, all this mess underneath the bumper. Because in European law we need to have a bumper, but we'll cut it in a way that will be perfectly fine. <laughs> I love it. Look at this. Excellent. We still need to make those hooks. We need to weld this exhaust probably because now it's just tucked to be uh, just in one piece, but it's not definitely sealed. <laughs> and we want it to be sealed, but maybe we'll fire it up just for a test. This part will need to disappear magically. We put the shield on because we need to put a registration plate somewhere in here, but probably this part will be cut it also so we can constantly experience the beauty of this exhaust while chasing twinkle yes and <laughs> I think we are ready to fire it up let's hear it uh oh oops fly away but the problem is that now it's quite okay and now that's okay that's not okay to be honest it sounds like a stock twingo okay it's falling apart so next step <laughs> we'll need to figure it out how to make it a bit louder I know what's left that could be also <clears throat> delete we got the nice fender flares looks like a stock one they're really nicely painted but as you can see just the full they're just fulfilled the gap is just fulfilled with some fulfillment and uh, that's it for now I have to say I would like to show you a bit more but 
the time is running faster than expected, or as always. As always, with the project cars like this, you never have enough time for your creativity. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now we need to uh, weld the exhaust probably mount the hooks so it will be hanging by itself, cut the bumper and yeah also probably I need to figure out some livery because as it looks quite okay you can see that it's something different than the usual bingo the thing that I don't like is that yeah uh, it's, with those yellow uh, LED lights it doesn't look probably with the orange I don't know maybe I just need some time with it we'll see maybe the yellow LEDs will go away I don't know I have to look at it for a bit more and then decide what I should do next but I definitely do something next so stay tuned guys thank you for watching and see you in the next one take care